Okay. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What you doing? Listen, Omikovo. Don't help her. Don't let her kill me. You could have you anything have I own. Him first, Corn, dear. whiskey. I got a key to the sewerways. Whatever you want. Well. Kill him first, my love. Then we can remove the chain. Yeah, 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 but I need, I need a key. Oh. No key. Does she have the key on her? It does. Okay. That will initiate a um, what you doing? confrontation. Listen, Omikovo, don't help her. Don't let her kill me. You can have you anything have to I got own. Him first, Go on. Dear. your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between Granny Rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. I control the clouds. They come and go at my command. Surely she can't follow us all the way over here, wherever we're going. Okay, 
back at the pub. Didn't kill anyone. Lost ghost though. I think that was pretty much impossible there at the last uh, confrontation. Please, no. Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed, except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there, looking for you as my guest. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head, just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself and died. A shit show. Lydia's the only the one who ever showed me any kindness. Poison, in the river. He asked me, he's long. Yeah, nice. he asked in the river. That's what a rational. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. He asked for it. Update. Our men are still trying to penetrate the workshop. Close up tight. I think Piero Joplin is inside. Crackpot, natural philosopher. There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll bet my commission is in that building with Piero Joplin. If so, arrest him. But I don't want him harmed until I get to the bottom of all this. Careful. The place may be booby-trapped and I want him alive. What else? Yes, sir. The servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. Looks like a naval cutlass and a small bore pistol. Looks like Corvo ran amok. Turn this building inside out, and it goes without saying. This area is might be worth checking out. Still walkers at all points. And stay vigilant. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire now, and he has nowhere else to go. Never thought he'd bother us again. I guess he holds a grudge. Uh-oh. 
that's bad. That's pretty bad. We are the mana. I want him alive. What else? Huh? Yes, sir. By the outsiders. What? I want him alive. What else? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. It looks like a naval cutlass and a small bore pistol. Corvo ran amok before they left. Turn this building inside out. And it goes without saying, this area is sealed. Still walkers at all points. And stay vigilant. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire. And he has nowhere else to go. Never thought he'd bother us again. I guess he holds a grudge. I need to be really fast here. I guess he holds a grudge. Heavens dies. Or remember before when I mentioned a special draw I was working on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went, but I hope uh, when you get back you see this and like it. I'd like to take you to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Sam was whispering to Galissa about a flare launcher that she was supposed to use to call him. He told her to lock the door to my tower. I heard our admiral tell the others we are leaving tonight for a place called the Lighthouse on King Sparrow Island. Hope you get there before then, Emily. Dunwall citizens, Hiram Burroughs, formerly the Lord Regent, has confessed to heinous crimes against the people of Dunwall. He shall be confined to the Coldridge Prison until the proper authorities decide his sentence.
thoughts. But it looks like someone is alive in there. I can see pretty well. Those to sleep. Have we got the balcony uh, this way? everyone Corvo they killed everyone to cover it all up then they took Emily with them and they left I couldn't do anything to protect her please find her make her safe all his talk of being an honorable military man but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died it had been building up Martin was acting strange going quiet if any of us were near Whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had. And worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. All right. The city watch is everywhere out there. But I don't even care if they find me anymore. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which... Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. 
This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. Yeah, we will go for that. Is no one making rounds over here? It's better not huh? to joke. Yeah, it's nice. Probably rats into everything. What? You've been goddamn. Isn't this the place? There it is. is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? Uh, yeah, put them all to sleep. As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pilot sure. is charged, no one will dare come near us. beyond my greatest expectations it defies description a device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century well, that's good and all well Corvo I hope we can be considered colleagues again now that you've eliminated the city watch I can find my way out of here but there's no way I can help Emily the way you can I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. I had one job. Take care of Emily. I tried as best I could. Go after Emily. I'll be fine. She's really blaming herself for this. They executed everyone, but where? Out there in the yard? No, Wallace. 
this. Let's see, my dear Wallace, we are departing for a safe and secure place where we can coordinate the transition of power to ourselves. Make certain that my audiograph and the best of the wines make it up for the vessel before the sun sets. This evening, the staff will be rewarded for their loyalty and service. You discovered nothing. Not liking the look of this one bit. That party died down inside awful fast. And now they called all the staff together. They said one more package for me to deliver. But I think I'll be keeping station at a safe distance from the riverbank and keep an eye on things for a while. Oh yeah, that, that is actually true. I need to buy more potions. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. These. And these. I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do? All right, we're just going to be kicking off this mission. Then we're going to be stopping for tonight. Finishing the main story tomorrow. Then we can move on to the ELCs. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. So I guess we can still get clean hands. This is it, sir. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse. Then there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. I knew you were sharp, Corvo. 
But somehow you managed to get through all this mess without losing sight of what really matters. For that, I respect you. The city's gonna pull itself up, I believe. Too many good people here to let it all turn to ashes. I'd best be going. The battlefield's no place for an old sailor like me. That time is long past. Good luck, my friend. All right. Well, thank you for the encouraging words. Save. Yeah, we will be stopping there for the night. This is the final mission. We're going to be finishing this tomorrow. And uh, then we got two DLCs we'll be playing afterwards. And I think we're going to be playing them a little bit differently. Maybe a high chaos or something. We'll see. So yeah. I'll be back tomorrow at 8pm. Central PM summertime. We'll see how far we can get. I don't think we will be finishing all of the game tomorrow. I don't know how long the DLCs are. I remember one being quite short. But one being quite hefty. So we'll see. And anyway, with the main story, we'll finish tomorrow, so that's for sure. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Until then, take care and good night. And goodbye.